Hey, what's up guys? Um, just thought I'd uh, fill you all in on a new project I've been working on and it's now complete. Um, after the sad news and uh, hearing of prodigy legend Keith Flint's uh, passing a few days ago, I decided to, you know, combine some of my artistic ability and uh, create a tribute piece for him. Um, and for the fans also, so that people have got something that, you know, they can have a look at and remember him by. I mean, he was... Musically, he was obviously strange at times, but you know he was a he was a musical genius. I mean, my first experience with the Prodigy in terms of music was the experience. Um, I wasn't very old; I think I was about ten or eleven at the time, <clears throat> and I uh, I heard some of their music, and it just it was totally different than what I heard before. I mean, I hadn't heard anything similar to it. Well, I mean, there, there were similar bands, but nothing that quite sort of hit you as hard as some of their songs did. I mean, music for the Jota Generation was also another favourite of mine. Um, I did listen to it quite a lot growing up. Um, I've got to admit, some of their later stuff, I didn't really sort of grew out of that phase and I moved on to different things. But, you know, I still absolutely love their music. You know, so I decided to draw this piece in charcoal. Um, I don't use charcoal very often. I've probably used it on about four or five pieces. It's something I'm still learning with and I'm still getting to grips with. So, you know, I thought I'd, on A2, nice big blank canvas, I would give it a go. And I'm, I'm quite pleased with how the results have turned out. And as you can see, um, I haven't really got any time-lapse footage of this piece. I was testing out a new easel I've got a new A1 easel and I've got to do a really big A1 piece soon and it was kind of a bit short notice for me to time lapse this piece um, I just want to get it started and get it done um, so yeah I, I did work hard on it I did work quite religiously on it for three or four days working evenings as well trying to get it to a point where I could share it with you guys you know it's it's such a privilege to draw a character like he was I mean, he had so many aspects of his face, so many face, facial features that were just... Not not many people can can have his hair like he did or have piercings the way he did and pull it off and, and still look edgy and cool. I mean, he was a he was a great character. And I suppose uh, another reason why I chose charcoal for this piece was simply because the amount of shadow in the subject piece that I chose was, was, was great. I mean, it, it was really dark in places and really light in other places and it really stood out. The contrasts were amazing. So yeah, that's why I chose to sort of use Shark, I think. Um, sometimes you can't quite get the darkness that you can get with charcoal with graphite. So yeah, it was, it was an obvious choice and, and I'm glad I chose to, to draw the piece the way I did. And, and I personally think that I've done him justice. I think he's well depicted and I think I've captured his likeness. So obviously if you've uh, come across this video and you're watching this video, you either love artwork or you love the prodigy, one or the other, and either way, you know, put some comments in the section below, let me know what you thought, thought about this guy in general, um, what you thought about the music, also what you think about artwork, I mean, what are your preferences for, for portraits, do you like seeing charcoal works or graphite works or painting, you know, get involved, let me know, let's, let's talk about art, let's get it out there. So that's my uh, tribute to Keith, and I hope you guys like the video, and uh, if you want to see more, subscribe, I mean, I've got plenty more time lapses on the way, um, I've got some more tutorials coming soon as well, so hit that like button, share and uh, subscribe to make sure that you get all of my content as soon as it hits. Cheers guys!